150 years ago, or 200 years ago, when the blacks were slaves, did they ever go to Washington, D.C. and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's, let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways. And God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? They didn't protest. Rarely has a lightning bolt from the heavens been as needed and yet not suddenly manifest. Uh, that's a missionary, Mike Keller, talking about slavery or his fantasies of what slavery was like. There's some minor misconceptions around the edges, I think, about what the experience was actually like. Um, a lot of stuff goes undefined, Sharon. The wicked ways, he used the expression wicked ways in the discussion of slavery. And he was talking not about those who owned, raped, and killed humans, but the people being owned, raped, and killed. They're the ones with the wicked ways. They're the ones who need to humble themselves before God. That's a religious man saying that, what do you think? Yeah, his God, right, because they were savages and they just trying to make them more civilized. And by the way, when does he get to the part where Sally Hemings and Thomas Jefferson had a beautiful love affair? Did he get to that part yet? That they were just a beautiful love affair, okay? What a wacko. And I don't believe in violence and I don't want anyone to have to endure it. But as you played that segment, I had an out of body experience where I ran up and punched him right in the face, okay? To shut him up. There are books that were passed out to school children. Thank you, Southern Daughters. Thank you, Southern Daughters for trying to rewrite history right here in Georgia. That said things like it wasn't so bad, sure it was a little hot, but they sang hymns. And they had fellowship in the fields as they picked the crops and made America better. It is so, who was in the audience? I don't want to see him anymore. I wanna know who he was talking to. Was it just this mm -hmm. virtual audience? Or were there people actually there drinking his Kool-Aid? I, 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 I don't know, I don't, I, if they were to swing the camera around, it might be hard to know for sure because the hoods would really obscure <laughs> things, I don't know. Um, we live in the year 2023, we have access, casual access to more information than the entire world had access to 150, 200 years ago. And it's pointless, doesn't matter, doesn't help. You can know anything about anything, and most people don't want to know anything about anything. Certainly not if it makes them uncomfortable, certainly not if acknowledging what's happened in the past is mildly inconvenient, even just briefly. They don't care, they don't want to know. There's no point in having history, there's no point in having books. Why do we learn about anything? It's inconvenient, we don't like it, so we're just gonna lie about it. Every single word that he said, was crazier than the word before. None of these people mean anything that they say. Every single one of these right wing pundits that'll be like, it really wasn't that bad. The slave masters loved their slaves. You know, they got education. They were able to practice religion. They got exercise. Yeah, try it out then. If it's not that bad, let's set it up. I'm I'm sure we could find some people, pundits, go start picking some stuff or whatever. It, it's just, it's all so see through, Sharon. It's all so, we go over this. Like they've been, they've been lying about, as you pointed out, historically trying to rewrite the history of slavery since slavery. And nothing can get through to the people who don't want to understand what was actually going on. And so it, it just makes you feel powerless, you know? Any other it thoughts? It does, and I, I'll say this, because I don't know what you're fighting so hard for to talk about a period where you weren't there. What, 
Do you understand that if you were to do some kind of ancestry, DNA, whatever, and you discover that in my bloodlines, one of the worst people in American history existed, I would find that interesting. I wouldn't be embarrassed though. I didn't know them. I wouldn't try to refute it. I might try to learn more about it and see what else went down, who knew what and when and what more is there. But I wouldn't say what you've revealed to me is just a lie and try to paint it as something different. Yeah, it might be helpful if you found out that one of your ancestors was a terrible person and also had gained a great deal of wealth from being terrible to Mm. reflect even just briefly on how that might have lingering effects generations later. And that that's not just an individual thing, we might actually have a whole lot of that across society. Um, But we're getting into CRT or something, so we should probably back off. We don't want our channel to be pulled. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.